This couple tried to be sneaky, but their scheme backfired, and now Polk County Sheriff is having a field day with the fake letter he says they tried to pass off. Fox 13's Ken Suarez is in Lakeland to explain all of this to us. Hi, Ken. Hey, Linda, you know, if you're going to hang out in Polk County for any amount of time at all, lesson number one is you don't fool around with the big man, and that, of course, is Sheriff Grady Judd. Somehow, that lesson went right over the heads of the two people I'm going to tell you about right now. And after what just happened to them, I don't think they're going to make the same mistake twice. From somewhere deep in the bowels of the Polk County Jail, a scam was being hatched that would involve two ex-cons, Marco Sullivan, his girlfriend, Morticia Wilson, Polk County's top cop, and this outlandish letter that has Grady Judd in a state of amused disbelief. I mean, Ray Charles can see that this doesn't work. But apparently Sullivan and Wilson were blind to it. This all started when Sullivan was arrested in Lakeland on an outstanding warrant from Orange County. He didn't want to lose his job at Ready Ice. So Sullivan asked his girlfriend to play it cool and tell his boss he had the flu and he would be out for a couple of days. When he went to court, reality hit, and he figured out he would be out a lot longer than that. He directed Wilson to download a Polk Sheriff's Office letterhead and write a letter to Reddy. It said Sullivan would be out of work for a while because he was on a super secret mission with the Sheriff's Office ATF Division. Due to the severity of the case, I'm not able to enclose E-N-C-L-O-S-E-D no farther F-A-R-T-H-E-R information. The letter was rife with misspelled words. There's one thing for absolute sure. We'll never use Marticia as a secretary of the sheriff's office. Then there's this annoying little issue. We don't have an ATF investigation unit. The letter was signed Mike Singleton, who, you guessed it, doesn't work for the sheriff's office. How did they ever think that was going to work? Because you know Reddy Ice is going to look at that and go, Come on. When Reddy read it, it seemed so unbelievable. The company tipped off investigators, and Sullivan's plans of holding on to his job just melted away. So Wilson is still on the run, and detectives think she may be over in the Orlando area. There's a very unusual twist to this story as well. Let's go back to the signature on that document. It was Mike Singleton. Well, he lives only a couple of properties away from that ice company. And I happen to know him. He's one of my friends. So I call him up this morning. I go, Mike, you're not going to believe what's going on here. Do you know this person? He says, nope, don't know him. What's the connection? Has absolutely no idea. All he could do was laugh about it. And I have a feeling that Grady is chuckling as well. Linda? A good editor is priceless. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Thank you, Ken.